This is a Mercy Girl production. Ford Edge and how I am going to install a filter minder onto my air box to help me monitor whether or not my air filter is dirty. Now the filter minder that I do have is a AEM filter minder. You can find it on the web and I'll put a link to the various types they have here. Uh, but for your information, a vast majority of the filter minders that you will buy to do this job are really only one source of manufacture and that is through engineered products in Waterloo, Iowa. They make and distribute for AEM, K&N, anybody, General Motors, Ford, Dodge, they make them for everybody. So uh, just because you buy it from one branded company, it was sourced out through engineered products in Waterloo. So just so you know where it is manufactured because I drive by them pretty much on a daily basis for my job. So as far as uh, doing that, we only need a few tools and I will go over it and show you how to do it. But first we have to take precautions. We want to take and remove this air box and then we want to make sure we take the filter out because we're going to be drilling into the air box. We don't want those small particles of plastic to get sucked up into the air intake and into the engine because that's bad juju, right? We don't need that. So we want to make sure we keep everything clean in the process and I'm going to go ahead and put some rags of stuff into the intake here to keep stuff from getting in there. I'm going to remove the air filter itself and then of course I will vacuum or blow it out with compressed air when I'm done and clean it all out good. That way we don't get any contaminants in there. But the first thing we're going to be doing is of course opening up this air box so I can get the filter out and then we're going to start the process of drilling into the air box once we look on the inside to see where the best location would be. Now of course the first thing you want to do is go ahead and unclip the air box and then we're going to go ahead and lift it up and then we're going to take and pull this air filter out so we don't get plastic and everything on the inside of it so we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll set that off to the side. And then we're going to go ahead and fill in here to see where our best locations are to actually install this. Now what we're going to do is we pull the red clip out at the bottom of our mass airflow sensor or disconnect it. Get that off of there. And then of course it's attached here by a little plastic uh, keeper, but we want to pull that out too, as easy as it sounds. There we go. And then we're going to get a screwdriver here, get a, get a flat bladed screwdriver, and we're going to release the duct from the intake here. that loosened up. There we go. We're going to get that off of there. Once we got this off, we're going to look at it and we want to install our filter minder somewhere on this. Now from everything that I've seen this area as you can see as you can see this area right before the intake is smooth. That's where we want to put it. We got another one right here that we could put it to 
or we could put it on to the side but there's not a whole lot of room and you're going to risk taking a drill it in there but this is what i got and we're going to go and shoot for right here in this area because the air flows that way we want to put it right here so the best place is right here basically lined up center for the in air intake and right on this area so what we can do since we're not going to drill into the box and worry about anything we don't have to block it up but I can go ahead and drill right into this right into the center with a line right dead center and I'll show you what I'm going to be using now what I've got here is a high speed uh, steel step drills and of course I'm going to go ahead and use these because the measurements it states here have to be 13 sixteenths. I'll use this smaller one because they're all marked graduated. I don't know if you can see it. I'll try to bring it up close here. But it is marked with what the size is. And in this case it says 13 sixteenths. So we have to drill all the way up to this last one. This last step here. So we're going to be drilling this whole thing right here and drilling a hole through this air box cover and then once we get up to that point we can then install it. Now folks this is what I have and this of course is the AEM filter minder. Now what this filter minder does is it indicates the AEM filter minder, sorry I had it upside down uh, what that happens here is when the filter is good, it'll stay in the green. When it starts getting half worn out, it'll go into the yellow. And then when the air filter is completely blocked, it will go into the red area of this. Now this thing is a low profile. Okay, As you can see, compared to my finger, it's not very thick. It's about finger's width actually. So it'll sit very low. So some of the old ones you saw would stick way out. They're very high profile. This is a very low profile AEM uh, filter miner. So in order to make it work all you have to do is create a little vacuum. So it works like this. There. Very little vacuum to do that. I hardly even inhaled it all on it. And then if you want it to go to the next level you just suck on it some more and very little vacuum again to cause it to go. Now in order to reset it, it's very simple. You turn the clock back. That's all you do. You turn it back and it's back on green and it's reset. Now what does this thing do? Now what this does is it will help me use the same air filter for a longer time because as air filters get filled up Believe it or not, there's a point in the life of an air filter, it becomes more efficient. It cleans the air better because it has more particulate matter in the filter and it allows it to still breathe and still catch even more dirt. So the whole thing behind this is, is to spend less money on air filters, folks. Yes, less money. $25, I think, is what I paid for this very easy kit very easy to install and all you have to do is drill a hole in the air box put a rubber grommet in and then it's got wedge teeth in here as you can see and you just snap that into place by forcing it in and then it locks in and forms an airtight seal so all I gotta do is take this at this and uh, drill that hole and then once I get done drilling the hole put the rubber grommet it comes with so what happens is you drill the hole, you fit this rubber grommet right here, you fit this into that hole, you just slide it in there. And then you take the filter minder and you insert the filter minder right directly into it, forcing it in. Once you've got it seated in, it is in there and it is sealed. So all we have to do is drill the hole to fit this rubber grommet in there and then we punch it in there and then we're done. It is that simple. So we're going to go ahead and install this and see what happens. So we're going to install this and uh, do it. And it would really mean a lot more to you all if I'd actually remember to bring my drill up from the basement. So I'm going to be right back and I'm going to go get the drill. This is a Mercy Girl production. All right. I have the drill all ready to go here. 
And what we're going to do is just find our line, no real measurement necessary, and then we're going to go ahead and drill. go. Like I said, nice and clean and we got it all cut open. Now one thing you want to make sure you do is you check the inside and make sure that you don't have anything that could uh, get caught up in there and uh, get it all cleaned off. If you need to use a uh, knife to uh, trim the edges and particulates and everything but as you can see uh, that is a really clean hole it has hardly anything in there that would be in the way so it is a very very clean hole now like I said all we got to do now according to instructions we just take and we force this rubber grommet in just pushing it in, it's just a rubber grommet. Push it in with your fingers, and then of course get it seated in there good. Go up underneath because it catches a little, gets it out around. And as you can see, look at that. Almost like it belonged there, huh? We got it all set up. Everything's in there nice and clean. So all we have to do now is filter reminder and position it the way I want it to read, which is the front just like so, and then I just force it down. Give it a couple turns a little bit, and boom, we got it. That's all it is, folks. That's all it took. So, we got the filter minder on there, as you can see. It is very low profile. It does not stick out very much. And therefore, it won't be in the way of the engine compartment or anything else. And on the inside, you can see the little vacuum hose that, of course, is in there right back here. That's the air intake, the vacuum, and we, of course, will have it. But very simple process. $25 to do it. A few minutes your time, drill bit. And we're done. We're ready to go. So I'm looking forward to actually taking and driving this on the road and keeping track of my AEM filter as far as its lifetime and uh, how clogged up it gets or whatever the case may be. But I'm going to be able to take and save money on buying filters. And that is the whole process that I want to do because you know what? I use a lot of these filters and uh, that's why I go with reusable ones because I drive a lot of miles. So we're about 60,000 a year. So this in my mind will also help me save money on buying air filters. And it will work with regular paper filters you have in your car. Whatever you want to do, this way you never have to really change it until you start seeing the reading getting into the yellow. Then you need to monitor and make a decision. Do I get a new filter? Do I clean it? What do I do? Ha! I almost forgot. You guys would probably like to see me put this back together again, wouldn't you? Alright. Since we had no dirt or falling in there, we'll go ahead and put this air filter back in there. And then... We'll go ahead and slide this air box back into position. Now keep in mind, I've always found these things to be a little bit on the finicky side when you go to put them back on. A little on the difficult side. But we'll go ahead and get this all slid back up on here. We can get the uh, air intake back in here. There we go. Get that all slid back up there nice and firm nice and tight there 
And of course we have to tighten all this back up. Get this uh, clamp back on here nice and firm so we have it all working. There, nice and tight. And we plug back in, push the red keeper back in for your mass airflow sensor. We take this little wire and we shove that back down on there onto the air box and we're good to go. Got everything clamped back down and let's see, does it run? I don't know. Let's try. And of course, everything's working perfectly. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll see how this does. I'll just come back time to time and when I'm doing other videos working on my vehicle. I will of course mention the AEM along with other things that I do with uh, Lulu Bell here. And uh, I'll let you all keep track how it works and what the longevity of this AEM is. It doesn't function right. I'm going to let this filter go. We're going to see how many miles we can go on it before this AEM triggers. Or does it not trigger and does it cause the engine to run badly? Don't know. But everything I've researched says this will definitely be helpful. So this is Mac T, Ford Edge. And by all means, have a great day. Let me know if we're doing good on this channel. I really strive to do the best I can. Uh, Sometimes this adds a lot more time to some of the projects that I do because I need to take and film it and everything else. But I truly appreciate all of your support. And if you wanted to know just a tidbit on what I do with it, Mercy Grill is now a teenager. And, of course, the money that I do make on this channel goes to her college account. So I'm not spending on beer and pizza is what I'm trying to say. Just a little bit extra for her college account and of course for the other youngest one too we're working on there. But uh, by all means, like the channel and I look forward to seeing you all back again soon. subscribe to Mac.